In this video, I'm going to show you how you can clone a GitHub repository. So this is going to be very simple and very easy if you follow these instructions. So go ahead and log into GitHub, then find your repository you want to clone. So I'm going to clone this project here, which is just a very basic website project. It doesn't matter what you're trying to clone, right? But you need access to it. Now what you need to do is download Git and we are going to use Git to clone this. So go ahead and download Git if you haven't already. You can download it for Windows. Just search for Git bash or just search for Git and download it and you can download here for windows now once you've got it downloaded you need to go ahead and run git bash so type that in and run git bash now i've made the text bigger here just for the video's sake so you can all see it now we need to type in a location of a folder that you want to clone your repository to before we type it in though, we need to obviously create it. So go to any place on your computer, you can clone this to any folder, but I'm gonna create a new one in the documents. So we'll right click, we'll go new, we'll go folder, and we'll call this example, and we'll click enter. Now you wanna click inside of the folder, and here where it says the folder name, right click and copy the address. Once you've done that, you wanna go to git bash, type in cd space, um, speech marks and then paste in your path location and then close off this here with speech marks then click enter and it will find that folder here we go so now we've found the folder we need to go ahead and access our project and inside the project on github click on code here where it says clone you want to make sure it's on https then copy this to the clipboard now open up git bash and type in git clone and then simply paste in uh, the link that you've just copied and click enter and it's going to then clone that into the file location you gave it before so now let's just see if it's there so we will open up the file and you can see in the example folder we created it's created a folder called website which is the repository name and inside that we've got all of the files here for that repository it's a very simple website so there's not much here but that's how you can clone it i hope that video helped you out